And it's baby food. How can they do that? Lana Lukianova ordered her daughter Heinz baby food pouches from Amazon.ca. When you see Amazon there, you think that's a company that's right. that you should be able to trust. Yeah. But when it arrived, it was several days past the best before date. I was shocked. Um, this is about our babies and about their health. Amazon's policy stated that grocery items were not eligible for returns. She left a critical review on Amazon's site. I was hoping that it would cause some reaction, but I, there was nothing, no apology, uh, no feedback, nothing. Lukianova's complaint is one of dozens CBC News found about grocery products on Amazon.ca. Complaints of expired infant formula, mayonnaise, salad dressing, coconut milk and more all passed their best before dates. It's a problem in the U.S. too, particularly when it comes to third-party sellers. And it's not just one customer or two customers. Data analytics firm 3PM looked at the top 100 grocery products on Amazon.com. It found that 40% of sellers received multiple complaints of expired food. Amazon's Canadian site has far fewer products and sellers. But as the grocery business grows, so could the problems. Canada will see the same sellers and have the same problems as we have in the United States. Amazon insists it vets third-party sellers and that it has policies to ensure products have a sufficient shelf life. But most of the complaints CBC flagged were for products sold by Amazon. The company says those were due to technical issues that have been addressed. It's all down to how they're held, how they're stored and how they're transported. This food safety expert says shoppers should still be wary about ordering any food products online. The thing about online food sales, you're really depending on the seller doing all the right things. After CBC contacted Amazon, it updated its return policy. It now states grocery items can be refunded or replaced. The company also apologized to Lukianova and gave her her money back. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.